Go set car. Pneumatics? Go out with. Go set car. One sequence start on my mark. Mark. Minus 30. Have yeah, I be armed? Button is pushed. Check out close. Minus 25. T minus 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 3, 2, main engine start, and liftoff of the Atlas Centaur rocket with the GOES-L weather satellite, assuring reliability of the GOES weather satellite system. Pitch program is in. Roll program is in. Looks good. This is now to Rob Gannon in the central telemetry facility giving us the data as it comes back. The parameters look good on the vehicle acceleration looks nice and smooth. And as both engines continue to operate normally, we down to our next mark event, which will be firing the pyro valves to activate the reaction control and outcome system, as expected to occur in 80 seconds. And booster sustainer engines continue to operate normally. We are now approaching the period of maximum dynamic pressure in transonics in the flight profile, which will respond to that as expected. And flight control looks good. Both the booster and sustainer engines continue to operate normally. And Atlas PU is operating as expected. Our parameters look very good now, right down the line. Vehicle is now 11 nautical miles in altitude, 8 nautical miles downrange at 1,800 miles per hour. Coming up on 120 seconds into the mission, everything continues to look good. Flight control is smoothed out nicely once we're through max Q, and we're 10 seconds away from firing the pyro valve. Booster engine cutoff in 30 seconds. And we've fired the pyro valves. Both the Arkham and the reaction control system are pressurizing as expected. Signatures look normal. Booster and sustainer continues to operate normally. Next mark event we're looking for is booster engine cutoff in 10 seconds. And we have Atlas PU to open loop control in preparation for BECO. We have booster engine cutoff, normal shutdown signature, sustainer burning well, and we have booster section separation. And we have Atlas PU black to close loop control. And sustainer continues to burn.